Please, Trina. Sir John is your friend. No, Mama. He's always been your friend. Not mine. I'm well, surprised they didn't teach you how to do this at your institute. I think that's taken, Mrs. Jenkins. I hope you realize how lucky you are to be here. Oh, this is exactly the kind of life I want. I am very good at mending, Mrs. Jenkins. Would you like me to see what I can do with these? Oh, the Queen won't wear mended gloves. She has a fresh pair every time she goes out. But she does wear mended stockings, so you can show me how clever you are with those. Trina is so... I don't know how to say in English. Stubborn. She's always been stubborn. I think we should move at once. Flora Hastings actually came into my closet unannounced this morning. She's Mama's lady-in-waiting, not mine. And that man was in the library when I came down to look at newspapers. She will soon realize that she is out of her depth, with only the Baroness to run things for her. I cannot live like this any longer. You would be quite separated, Buckingham House. Yes. Yep. Don't take less than five shillings. Have I ever let you down before, Mrs. Jenkins? Go on, off you go. <laughs> that parcel Mrs. Jenkins gave you, where are you taking it? Uh, to the pickers, of course. It's the second parcel this week I've taken. Mrs. Jenkins does well from the pickers. Oh, yes. Uh, five shillings for a pair of gloves. And she once got three guineas for shoes. She always gives me a sixpence for running them down for her. Oh, don't worry, Miss Skerritt. I'm sure you'll find your own perk right enough. Well, thank you for setting me straight, Mr. Brody. I don't understand why Trina is in such a hurry to move. We have been so happy here at Kensington. She is so young, ma'am. For her, the bustle of the city will be a novelty. And for you, ma'am? be an opportunity at Buckingham House. You'll be Queen Mother. And you will be her private secretary. I wish I could be sure of that. The carriage is waiting, Majesty.